to trust me, you'll, you'll want to hear and see all about this and participate in this as well. So this time I'd like to call up uh, uh, our chamber member, a very, very good friend of mine. <laughs> so, yeah, see, now he said that he can't sing me when I give him the microphone. Please welcome up Mr. Jake McKenzie from Blackburn Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you this evening? Okay, listen, everybody's attention just for a couple minutes. Everybody here has heard of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, correct? Put your hands up, yeah. So anyways, I work at, uh, I always get this wrong, Classic Rock Free 98.1 here in London. And I was challenged, oh, I love it. Do it again, woo! So I was challenged by my boss to do it anyway. So the other night I, I do it and, and, and I, I throw out my brother's name as I nominate. And my wife says, all right, I'll throw out this friend's name. And all of a sudden it just hit me. It said, man, would it be good to see the CEO of the London Chamber of Commerce, Jerry McCartney, get the ice bucket challenge done to him. Correct? Put your hands up if you want to see it. So it just so happens that you're all here tonight to see that very treat. Jerry, come on up for a second and at least say a couple of words. Give Jerry a round. So to even to make it better is that we want to raise some money for the uh, ALS, right? So Lou Gehrig's disease. We want to raise some money for that tonight and the London Chamber is going to donate every dollar made directly to ALS tomorrow morning. So what I'm going to do is I have two giant buckets of water, and I got them up front. I know everybody here loves Jerry, right? Yeah. All right. And if you don't, don't say nothing, just bid. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everybody, I'm going to start a little live auction. I'm going to get two bidders. We're going to start with one, then I'm going to get two, and those people are going to come up here, and they're going to dump a big bucket of water on our good friend Jerry McCartney's head. Nice ice water. All right, so yeah, what he doesn't do for the chamber. You want to say a couple quick words? Well, first of all, Jake, thank you for calling me up. I really, really appreciate that. No, I really do. It's a great cause. ALS is something that we need to learn a lot more about. Perhaps events like these, using fools like me to get wet, uh, will help to uh, put some more emphasis on this very awful disease. I'm going to be challenging. Some, you want me to challenge now or after? Uh, you got to wait do it on the video. Right? Yeah. All right, so we'll wait for the video, and uh, then I'm going to be calling out some other associates of mine. But uh, as you can see, I took the event uptown tonight. Yeah. yeah. I saw I saw you in your thong, Jake. By the way, it's not a dream. Oh my God, you're gonna pay for that. So we're gonna we're gonna dress it up, and the three people I'm gonna challenge are the past president of the London Chamber of Commerce, Mr. David Craven from Union Gas. David, you're gonna see this tonight somewhere on the media. The current president of the London Chamber of Commerce, in formal attire, Andrea Fedema. <laughs> And the president-elect of the London Chamber of Commerce next year, Mr. Paul Way of TD Canada Trust, also in formal attire. That's awesome. So like we said here, folks, you know what? This ice bucket challenge has taken off. It's been an absolutely huge thing. And at the end of the day, I don't care who does it and how many people do it. It's about raising money for a great cause. And it's proven to me that this viral stuff, this, this internet stuff, it kind of works. You know, I'm the guy still with pencil and pen, right? I thought, ah, come on. No, this shit works. So, I said the S word. Sorry for any children that are in the house tonight. 